hi everyone welcome back to my channel so here uh, so for last few days i was being exploring on the custom activity creation like custom actions creation uh, using the new feature that is the asset library option which has been recently added in the power automate uh, so i was been exploring like how we can create custom action because util using this option using this uh, create custom action option we can create our own action using uh, visual studio code using c, c sharp etc and i was following the documentation like to create a very simple act action which will actually helps to add two numbers and i was able to do that as well so i am still exploring it so let me show you the uh, custom action which i have developed so as you go in the power automate desktop you can see one option called asset library or you can go here tools and you can click from here as well as a library which is under preview right now because it is a recently released feature so you can just click here and you can see that i have developed one uh, action called add numbers so this is actually a module means module means it should have a collection of action present inside it so this add number itself is a module right now inside it it has only one action currently you can add many actions as per your requirement and you can just click here to add this action to your flow and uh, it will get uh, yeah it is got added you can see added in the flow let me close this one and if i go down you can see under custom action preview if i mean a text you can see here right under that you can see add number this is actually add number is a module and now if you just uh, expand it you can see action one this is the action which i was talking like it will add two numbers okay so i will just drag it here and you can see uh, actually i just had a description of action one so actually this application of this uh, action one custom action is to add two numbers like we will provide two numbers as input and it will provide the sum of two numbers as output in the result variable so let me put two numbers 40 and let's say 25 okay so 25 now what happens is let me run this one you see the result is actually shown in the result variable that is 39 and if you let's say if you put some other text value let's say if i put in a text value let's say p uh, let's see what happens we'll run it from here is it as yeah it will see it will throw an error because the number 2 should be integer value it should not be a string value because it only accepts integer value okay so actually i have followed this documentation to create the custom action so for creating the custom actions where we need a few packages to be installed that is uh, one of the packages we should we will be using is uh, action sdk package and also uh, to make the development of the uh, custom actions because these custom actions are created through visual studio so it is recommended to use visual studio 2022 and to make these things easier there is a power automate visual studio template uh, template as well which you can use it while developing the custom actions okay else you can directly use a simple class library with dotnet framework and you can start developing it using the actions dk package once you create the package what you have to do is you have, like once you complete your uh, program part you have to build that particular solution and you will it will generate a dll file so the next step after generating the dll file should be to have the uh, to have to sign that dll file with a uh, cert trusted certificate so that this uh, we can uh, so that uh, we can uh, like declare the authenticity of this particular custom action like it is coming from a trusted source for uh, generating as well as importing the certificate the documentation is already provided here you can have a look and also once you assign that particular dll file with the certificate combine all these things this dll file to a cap file and then sign this cap file again you can see a simple step here itself whatever i have to this step is being simplified here and uh, once you did everything right 
these are different examples of the uh, custom select uh, custom actions which you can develop i'm still exploring it like i've just generated a very simple act, uh, custom action like this to add two numbers to see how actually this works now i will try to explore it a little bit as well okay so once you did this uh, once you create a custom action you can see they are also giving how to create and import a self-signed certificate to sign your dll as well as your cat file so now uh, once you have to everything uh, what you have to do is you have to upload the custom action for uploading the custom action like once you get the cap file the cap file should be in a zip format okay actually its extension should be cap okay you have you can go under data uh, okay uh, under data you will find custom actions just click here take some time yeah you can see I have already added one module that is add numbers. If you want one more module, you can click on custom module and you can give a name of your module. Let's say uh, module 2. You can give a description and you can choose the file. The file should be .cab file. You can see here uh, once, uh, yeah, you can see this is one of the files. This is always in the uh, zip format that is uh, RIR archive format, but you can select this one, okay? Because uh, once a cap file is generated, you have to sign it. Then you have to upload it. Otherwise, it won't uh, include it while you are trying to add it from your Power Automate desktop. Once you add it here, what you have to do is, you have to go to your Power Automate desktop. If you are still in the asset library, you can see that that will appear here. If it doesn't appear, you have to just click on refresh. It will automatically appear. Once it appears, you can use that particular action. Okay. So I'm still exploring it. I will provide a detailed video like on how you can create this action in a, uh, in a, in the, in a more deep way so that uh, you can also have, uh, you can also give a try around it. And I also recommend you try around this custom action uh, from your own side using this particular documentation. This documentation is quite helpful as well. Like they have provided how to create custom action, what is custom action, how to upload and how to use it as well. You can just follow this in sequence to get a complete idea how you can create and use this custom action and how you can share with others as well. So that's all for this for this uh, for this video. I hope you got an idea and I hope you will explore this as well. And I will also come with a new video. Thank you.